how's it going guys so we've got another desktop coming at you today this is one that i actually use on my main desktop i made it about a year ago and then i just updated it recently and the other one got such good feedback and everyone just seemed to love it so i decided why not make another one um, this one's a little more cpu intensive so that's why i use it on my desktop rather than on my laptop it uses an animated background it's got the time the weather resource displays as well as some clickable links and a google search bar built into your desktop so i'll show you how to get that all set up it's way easier than the last one because this one doesn't require modifying anything this one won't have a tutorial on moving your taskbar icons but you can always reference the old video if, if you want those centered custom icons so i'll shoot a link up there for you if you haven't already you can hit the subscribe button to see more like the video if you like the video uh even if you didn't you know, just, you might as well. all right so first we're going to go ahead and download rain meter if you haven't already, RainMeter is a desktop customization tool that allows you to design some really sick desktops. There's a ton of community design skins, themes, widgets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download Final and that link will also be in the description. You'll wanna go with standard installation and you'll probably wanna run RainMeter on startup. Once RainMeter is started, go into the system tray. We'll want to disable the skins that are currently enabled. We'll want to disable the skins that are currently enabled by finding the .ini in active skins and clicking unload on each and every one. You'll want to click the link in the description and download the .rar file I've compiled. We'll want to save it to the desktop or somewhere else safe. Now right click your desktop and select display settings. If your text scale is anything other than 100, you'll likely have to change it for this to work. So we'll change that now. Next, locate your .rar file and create a new folder nearby. Um, I think I'll name this one skins. Drag the .rar file into that new folder and then extract its contents. You'll want to grab everything. Okay, once that's copied, grab just the folders and either copy or cut those and navigate to documents, rain meter, skins, and then go ahead and paste everything there. Next, you want to navigate back to the folder with the dart.rm skin file. Run that desktop should now have animated contents in the correct positions. Next, to get the wallpaper looking just right, you're going to need a program called Wallpaper Engine. It is $4.99 Canadian on Steam, but very worth it. The link is down there in the description. So once that's installed, go ahead and launch the program. Once it's launched, then you can go down to the system tray and you can open it from there. Once it's open, go to the workshop tab and it'll prompt you to select the style you like. If you select nature, then the animated forest should be in the top. If not, simply search animated forest snow 4K. Now, while it looks great, the weather code likely isn't relating to your location, but we can easily fix this. So head to Google and search weather codes or hit the link down in the description. Once there, search your location and copy the appropriate eight character code. Once you have that, navigate to documents, rain meter, skins, Dina J, and then open up the settings file. You'll wanna open that with notepad. Change the LOC or location variable to whatever code you just found. Delete what was there before, hit Control S to save, and then exit out of that. Go into your system tray, right click on the rain meter icon and choose refresh all. 
adjust your taskbar as needed. Your icons may no longer be proper when you change the scaling. So I'm gonna go ahead and just recenter those a bit. Let's see how that looks. Perfect. So now you've got a gorgeous Canadian winter desktop with animated time, weather, system usage, and a Google search bar. Now, if you haven't already, hit that red button down there, get subscribed for a lot more. So there you go. You've got this beautiful desktop right here. This one right here. Zoom in there. Nice. So you got this beautiful desktop. It looks gorgeous, it's animated, it's got your CPU usage, you can go ahead and Google search whatever you want, and it'll open up a window for you right away. You've got everything you need to be productive, and you know what, just having a beautiful desktop just feels good. So, there you go guys. If you liked the video, subscribe. Um, like the video if you liked it. We got more coming your way soon, and I appreciate all the kind comments. Uh, that's what keeps me going, honestly, and um, catch you next time.